even an 82 year old trailblazer like Lily Ledbetter still chooses to challenge the status quo. I think my case woke the country up because it was not just about Lily Ledbetter, but it was about you and every other woman across this nation. Still speaking out about bucking the system years after filing suit against Goodyear tires in Gadsden when she found out she was paid substantially less than men with similar titles and experience. It was not right. I couldn't let it go. And I'm still very passionate about it today simply because there are so many young women and minorities that are not getting their rightful pay. And the sad part of that is that that affects your livelihood today, your family's lifestyle, and your savings for the future, and your retirement. Her long legal battle made its way to the United States Supreme Court. It later resulted in Congress passing the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. Even in 2021, the pay gap still exists, but it's narrowing. Without controlling for other factors, women earn 82 cents for every dollar earned by men. That's according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. We still have those statistics out there about how much women make, you know, versus men. And, and you know, and then when you break it down by, you know, African-American women or Hispanic women, you know, it's, you know, even smaller fractions. Do you, what do you think it will take for us to ever get to the point of having that type of parity in employment? Well, we do it by one employer at the time. A lot of the corporations are learning that if they want the best performance or the best quality product put out their door, they must push to have men and women treated alike. 2020 was a big year in terms of we now have a woman in the White House. And how did you feel about seeing that? That was awesome. It really was. Um, I go back to I supported Hillary Clinton the the term before. She should have been there first. I, I felt when these four years are up, I look to see her run probably if uh, the president does, doesn't because she would be extremely qualified and there's nothing wrong with a woman being there. A film based on Ledbetter's 2012 memoir is in the works. It has the potential to expose a new generation of women to her story and her cause. We're hoping this movie goes around the world and it will be used even later to help educate women and minorities about how to get their rightful pay that they're earning. Nothing that's skilled to them, but what they're earning. Carla Wade, WVTM 13.